Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the different code coverage techniques like statement coverage, decision coverage, branch coverage and loop coverage etc. When we come to the statement coverage, the statement coverage is a white box testing design technique which involves execution of all the executable statements in the source code at least once. It is used to, to calculate and measure the number of statements in the source code which can be executed given requirements. Statement coverage is used to derive scenario based upon the structure of the code under test. The statement coverage is calculated by using the equation statement coverage is equal to number of executed statements divided by total number of statements into 100. In the white box testing, the tester is concentrating on how the software works. In other words, the tester will be concentrating on the internal working of the source code concerning control flow graph or flowcharts. Generally, in any software, if we look at the source code, there will be wide variety of elements like operations, functions, looping, exceptional handling, etc. based upon the input of the program. Some of the code statements may not be executed. The goal of statement coverage is to cover all the possible path, line and statement in the code. Let us consider with an example how to calculate the statement coverage. The source code consists of a print functionality printers of int a comma int b with the program code as integer result is equal to a plus b and there is an if statement if else statement the if statement states if result is greater than zero then print the positive as result and the else statement is for printing the negative result in the scenario 1, if a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 9, then when we come to the function, the integer result is equal to a plus b, that is a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 9, that is 3 plus 9 is equal to 12. And the checking condition is checking if a result is greater than 0, that is 12 is greater than 0 then the printing statement is executed and finally exiting this particular loop the statement marked in the yellow color are those which are executed as per the scenario the number of executable statements are only 5 and the total number of statement is 7 then the statement coverage is calculated by the executed statements divided by total number of statements that is 5 divided by 7 which is equal to 71 percentage. When we come to the second scenario if we are submitting the value of a as minus 3 and b as minus 9 then the result is equal to a plus b that is minus 3 plus minus 9 which is equal to minus 12 and the checking condition checks if minus 12 greater than 0 that particular statement is false then it comes to the el statement and print that particular result value the statement marked in this yellow color are the statements which are executed as per the scenario number two the total number of executed statements are six therefore the statement coverage is equal to six divided by seven which is equal to 85 so this is how we are considering or calculating the statement coverage so what is covered by the statement coverage the statement coverage generally covers the unused statements dead codes unused branches missing statements etc when we come to the second scenario that is the decision coverage scenario the decision coverage reports the true or false outcome of each boolean expression in this coverage, expressions can sometimes get complicated. Therefore, it is very hard to achieve 100% coverage. That is why there are many different methods to reporting this particular metric. All these methods focus on covering the most important combinations. It is very much similar to decision coverage, but it offers best sensitivity to the control flow. The decision coverage is calculated using the equation decision coverage is equal to number of decision outcomes exercised divided by total number of decision outcomes.
when we come to the third coverage mechanism that is a branch coverage mechanism in branch coverage every outcome from a code module is tested for example if the outcome are binary we need to test both true and false outcomes it helps to ensure that every possible branch from each decision condition is executed at least a single time by using the branch coverage method we can also measure the fraction of independent code segments it also helps to find out which is section of code doesn't have any branches the formula for calculating branch coverage is branch coverage is equal to number of executed branch divided by total number of branches advantages of branch coverage is as follows it allows us to validate all the branch in the code secondly it helps to ensure that no branches lead to any abnormality of the program's operation thirdly the branch coverage method removes issues which happen because of the statement coverage testing and fourth one it allow to find those areas which is not tested by other testing methods and it allow to find the quantitative measures of code coverage and finally the branch coverage ignores branches inside a particular boolean expression when we come to the fourth coverage mechanism that is a conditional coverage the conditional coverage or expression coverage will reveal how the variable or sub expression in the conditional statements are evaluated in this coverage expressions with logical operands are only considered for example if an expression has boolean operations like and or xor which indicated the total possibilities the conditional coverage offers better sensitivity to the control flow than the decision coverage the condition coverage does not give a guarantee about the full decision coverage and the formula to calculate the condition coverage is condition coverage is equal to number of executed operands divided by total number of operands so my dear students in this lecture we had discussed the different major code coverage methods like statement coverage decision coverage branch coverage and condition coverage so dear students kindly go through this assignment question the question is write in detail about statement coverage decision coverage branch coverage and condition coverage so dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the cyclomatic complexity in white box testing so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best